Do you know who I am? Thriller. City. You might need a theme song for your shit. Check this out. Turn this out. Let this shit seep in. JackThriller.com. We creep in. Snoop Dogg to the left. Jack Thriller to the right. JackThriller.com. Do it all night. Hit the website. Hit us up real quick. If you're trying to get hooked up with a bad super bitch. Come on, man. Yo, DJ Smoke. Man, cut that. Let's go, man. Hey, New Jack Thriller City is going down. Going down, going down, down, down. Yo, it's going down. Um, I got some really uh, a really cool play in the house. But first, man, y'all give it up for my DJ. DJ Samo. Let's go. <laughs> y'all give it up for my co-host, a uh, uh, little playboy, Erica Duchess. DJ yo, Boy. yo, yo. And give it up for our guest today, man. We went to high school together. He don't remember seeing me there, but I was there. <laughs> I was there. Uh, and you know, I was just on the other side of the school. We didn't have no windows at the time. He was reading in high school. Man, he represented the A right. As a matter of fact, he represented so hard, he put it in his name. Y'all give it up for Scotty ATL all the way from hey. the Ada. Hey. East side. The East side. Yeah. Hey, dog, you got your, your name is Scotty ATL. Face. ATL. ATL. What does the ATL mean in your name? Atlanta. That's Atlanta. That's Atlanta. Okay, but you, you, uh, if you, if we, we pinpoint it, you from Decatur, <clears throat> the East Side to be exact. East side. The, the East Side to be exact. Latonia. Okay. Latonia. Okay, I stayed in Latonia. I, I, I grew, grew, up. I grew up and was raised in Latonia on Marble Road, Cherokee Valley. Okay. To Marble be exact, Road. I stayed on Decatur, in Decatur too, on Glenwood too, Robbins Landing to be exact. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now, now, uh, now, do you know when some folks was, you know, the, the, the uh, talking about that part right I now. heard about that. Did you hear that song? I heard about you that. You heard about them folks? Man. They weren't even in Atlanta when they made the, made the video. <laughs> See? That was Cobb County. See? Yeah, you let them tell it. See? See, the real East Side, man. So we had this debate a lot. And okay. I ain't going to even count, you know. Um, Don't count. I, I ain't gonna do it. Don't, don't you know what I'm saying? Okay, so don't, don't so the real me. East Side, cause we had a we had this shit was like a miss. It was a misconception. Okay, you know what I'm saying? All like, right. And I don't want to rehash nothing, cause we already said it and it's done. But to clarify, since we had this conversation, we both from the East Side. That's right. Latonia Decatur. This is Atlanta, Georgia. Yes, 100. percent Now. I understand some people might say, "Well, down it don't say Atlanta on the mail." You feel me? When you open your mail and shit like that. Okay. It don't say it on there. That's right. But when I go to other cities, yeah, yeah. And I say, like, let's say I'm in West Hollywood. Yeah. If you ask me where I went, I ain't gonna say I went to West Hollywood. I'm gonna say where I went to. Hey. LA. <laughs> Hello. I see what you just did. Ooh. I like where it's going. Okay. Come on now. Okay. If I go to New York. Okay, you go to New York. And well, I'm in I like Manhattan. With this. I'm in Manhattan. Okay. Get what? what? I'm not gonna say I went where. Manhattan. I went to Manhattan. I'm gonna say I went to where? New, New York. York City. Thank you. Okay. Hello. If you, if you went to Syracuse, ooh, you're not gonna say uh, what? What? You, I went to Syracuse. You gonna say you was where? I was in New, New York. York. If you went to Buffalo, mm. you're not gonna say <laughs> you went to Buffalo. Right. You gonna say <laughs> you was in New York? <laughs> it exactly. is what it is. Exactly. Come on, bro. Hey, dog, from that, when you down south, you know, then I always thought, and this is before I had moved to New York, too, that New York and New Jersey were down the same shit. And I didn't just identify it like that. Everybody all over out there don't live there felt the same type of way. They thought they pair everybody to sound the same there. Exactly. You bottle it up together. It is, it is what it is. And I understand where you got your, your team spirit and whatnot, and you, you're from from where you is and stuff, but you know, it ident you identify with whatever it is at the time. And at the time, uh, 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 what's my man? Ghetto Mafia. Mm. Come on, we live in Greater. Decatur. In Decatur. <laughs> what's my man? That? Lloyd. Come on, show me another nigga that's greater. Decatur was great. From Decatur. Come on, man. It, it is. Outcast it is. said we call the 86. Lock on you. So, well, Decatur. Hey, hey, dog. How about this? How about this? Remember in Belly when DMX had went to jail? Right. Where he get locked up at? In Decatur. He was off a of Memorial Drive, DeKalb County. Exactly. That's Atlanta. He, was, he said, I'm down in Atlanta on the goddamn movie. That's right. They, couple, That's you saw, you right. saw it, right? 
So this was like a... Uh, you see what we just did? A family conversation, it's, almost. It's clarification. There you go. It's clarification. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so the, the girl that had that song and whatnot, I just feel like this. If you was born in the 2000s, you can't say what Atlanta is and what it's not. Because you weren't there for the, the real Atlanta shit. Right. What's real Atlanta shit? The Freak Nick. Freak Nick. The Golden Glide. Goddamn. Uh-oh, uh, 112. 112. Jazzy the, T's. The Bounce. Mm -hmm. Nigga don't need nobody warehouse. Niggas don't know about the warehouse, bro. Nigga, Nike Pavilion. Nigga don't know about the Nike Pavilion. Nigga don't know about, know about the Petty. Evan Why and what? Evan them. Come, I was there. She was there. I you was there. there. You know about the petty. See, people really don't know about the petty. Bro, let me okay. tell you something. Okay. Yeah, I used to go there. I'm, I'm like 14 years old at the teen club and whatnot. You know you fingering girls on the dance floor and all that shit. Right. You know? Come on, 100 uh, miles all our clothes on till we fell okay. excited. Okay, okay well, watch this, though. Like, Have you ever heard of Jazzy T's? Yeah, yeah. I used to go Jazzy there all the time. Yeah, I was at Jazzy T. I used to sneak in Jazzy T's. Come on, bro. I had that when I, uh, that's what I utilized my fake ID for. Okay. Shout out Jazzy T. Yes, you know about Jazzy T? Terrell Jazzy Davis, Jazzy T. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's hard. Yes. OG. That's hard. Uh, uh, 112. And they, they don't even know how 112, the group 112 got their name. Put them on, It Jack. was from the club 112. Yeah. But they, okay. if you was in the 2000s, you probably didn't even know no shit about that. Mm. Well, I, I'm not trying to. I'm, I'm, I'm a real west side of okay. Atlanta. Fuck your shit. Okay, west side. And, and, and I'm... I'm grown, real grown, so I've been around. I'm from the real, real Atlanta, like the real Atlanta. <laughs> okay. and, um, What's the real Atlanta? Yeah, put us on. Clarify that. But need that for fun. You gotta put us on. The just what freak me. It's the same thing I just said. That's that's Atlanta. Okay. Our music was different. You know, we was Kilo. Kilo. Um, you know what I'm saying? Kilo, Kilo Ali, Sammy Sam. Like I'm from I'm from that era right there. You Miracle. know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm that Atlanta, right? Ghost Town but I just tell people, like, let's not, let's just be for real. Like, the east side and the west side, we we are Atlanta, right? I just say it's all, even College Park. Yeah, even Atlanta, Park. I, this is what Park, I tell Park, people. Atlanta. First of all, Atlanta Park, is Atlanta. our state capital, right? Mm -hmm. It, it goes back to what everything you just said, you're going to say Atlanta. And I just think all of us, the east, the west, the south, the and the north. Now, shout out to the Migo. It all makes our city capital. Gwinnett is it, Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? It all just make Atlanta. Cause sometimes, even like on your zip code, that is is you got Atlanta zip code. Yeah. You know, it, and it might not be in the city, but some things in in East Atlanta, it got Atlanta zip code. It say uh, zip code is Atlanta. So, but I don't know where it's going. This new generation. Trying to divide them. They, they are a little different. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They grow up a little different and they real territorial now. You know what I'm saying? They, right. you know, they different. But why? It, it's just, I don't understand. I ain't sipping on their water, so I can't really explain you they, they world. But they just sit back and they listening to the older people. Mm. That's where they getting their information from. And so they like, you know how niggas talk, man, that nigga ain't even from the city, man, that nigga ain't even from the east side. Oh, you know what I'm okay. saying? So they sitting around listening to shit like that, but not even just thinking about just the history of Atlanta. So they just taking little particles of things and he and this and he and that. And they may be like, well, shit, these niggas really not even Atlanta, but they are Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I think that's just where that come from. I so I that. don't even want to go I back there because I was sitting going through too much right now. Atlanta, shout out to um, uh, Killer Mike for getting his award. Because I was three. Killer Mike. Three. Because yeah. our city needed that. You Mike. know what I'm saying? We going through Michael. too much, man. And what you? Why you say we going through too much? Because it's like we've been we've been having this this we've been having this um what this torch for about twenty some thirty years. We Atlanta, still got it with right. the music, our culture, our style, our swag, our lingo. That's us, right? Right. And I just think a lot of folk, people be jealous of that shit. They really want to come to our city to see, do these niggas really help each other like they say they do? And boop, boop, boop. Soon as they see some type of tension with, if you my brother, I might have some tension with you that day. Right. But you my brother, though. Right. But this nigga, he an outside nigga, he going to be like, man, them niggas really don't even fuck with each other like that. You know what I'm saying? Now that beef, that tension is, that spirit is in our cities, on our grounds now. That's kind of just fucking with us. So I just say it's... I we going did. through a lot yeah, as right. far as our y unity. Mm -hmm. It's like it's it's gone now. Like you know what I'm saying? Like the unity we used to have, and yeah. that, that Atlanta, that 
East, West, South, you know what I'm saying? You got outcasts making, um, they South Side, but they still made music with niggas from the East Side and the West Side. You know, we Atlanta. So I'm thinking we should be like DJ Khaled some shit. But when that song came out, it like, it separated us. Mm -hmm. And then that thug get locked up. And then Lucy and everybody just getting locked up. And then this nigga snitch, this nigga snitch, everybody. You know what I'm like? Go with that bullshit. We don't need that shit in our city, man. I want bring back, what they say, um, make Atlanta great again. I love yeah. it. Okay. I mean, I mean. <laughs> I mean, come on, let's get. Yeah, I, I'm forward with that. I'm in on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in on that too, for sure. I love Atlanta. You know what time it is, y'all? It is Jack Thriller's Beauty of the Week, man, hosted by Gigi McGuire. Hey, Gigi, show me them honeys. Hey, who's coming with me? It's me, your girl, Gigi McGuire, Miss Show Me the Money, and this Jack. Beauty of the Week is a little special because we're not doing it once, we're doing it twice, baby. It's giving multiple orgasms. I'm just saying, ladies. So before we get into this Beauty of the Week little questionnaire, I just want to share something with everyone. This is my fantasy. I want to have a threesome with two women, but the only thing is, I want a man to just watch. You want to watch? Of course you do. Of course you do. I do it. Okay, enough about me. What are you guys' names? I'm Ada. I'm May. Uh. Topia Twins. Topia Twins. Topia Twins. As in Utopia? As in the most amazing, most just beautiful, just, oh my God, heaven on earth place in the world, Utopia? I love that. I love that for y'all. Okay, um, who's the older twin? Who's the big sister? I'm older by an hour and 30 minutes. Mm. That's a long time. But then you pushed on through. Baby, I didn't want to come out. I needed a time. We've we been in the same room for nine months, so I just needed my little hour and 30 minutes break. She said, I'm going to make my grand interest too. Hold that placenta. Mm. <laughs> mm. And how old are we? 21. What is our sign? Scorpio, the best. Scorpio. Mm. Okay. And where is our hometown? New York. What city? Harlem. Hey, Uptown! What brings you guys to Atlanta? Um, so after we graduated high school, me and my sister decided to take the big path. Moving on our own, we're in school for nursing. Um, we graduate in March. Do we always do the same thing? When? Most of the time, yeah. We're stylists and she's a makeup artist. Oh, it's giving one-stop shop. So you know what's better than Because I have a one-stop shop Who I call my glam god Shout out to Jay Tavar um, He gets me together hair and makeup And I usually have him on set Unfortunately he's out of town So I couldn't have him today But um, I love that you guys are one and the other Because that's such a time saver For a girl like me Who's always running late One on the face One on the hair You know what I'm saying Back mm. to that threesome One on okay. the top One on the bottom Talk that shit <laughs> Okay so let's get a little spicy y'all um, what is it giving as far as sexual interest? Straight, bi, gay, curious, undecided? I'm straight. I like dick. Okay. She put the emphasis on dick. Okay. Got they might, you. They might have the same DNA, but... Uh, one of them wanted some D-I-C-K. One of them wanted that dick. <laughs> no, he she wanted dick and dick that only. dick. Okay, I don't even want your tongue because bitches got that. I want that dick. I'm gonna start over here. So what is your favorite sexual activity? I like to get on top and ride. Mm hmm. Let me spin it around on that dick and ride it from the back and grab angles and all that too. Like the Wheel of Fortune. You see how little I am? It's giving circus egg. It's giving circus to life. Okay. Mine is, um, like, of course, you have to give me head. Oh, okay. She's so selfish. She's gonna give me head. Just go right into missionary. That's just like, I love it. Missionary. So, her favorite activity is the transition from head to missionary. Uh, yeah. I she like want to be served. Answer. She want to be served. She said, handle your business. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ladies, um, are we going 50 50 on relationships? Let's start over here first. Well, if a, I'm not, I don't have a problem with going 50 50, but if your man got it, he's not gonna let you go 50 50. But then again, sometimes things happen and sometimes your man might be struggling. You might have to step up and take a job. I don't mind going 80, 20, 50, 50, whatever my man want. I'm just down for whatever. Okay. Same question. It's vice versa. Like, I just feel like 
the whole purpose of a relationship is, you know, for us to be there with each other emotionally and physically. So I wouldn't mind going 50 50. Um, ladies, are we faking orgasms? When I was young, before I turned 21. <laughs> Out of some organs. If I don't like you, I'm gonna moan. My moan, I got the best moan ever. I appreciate like it. No nut quicker. I get thank you. Out the way, get the f out my face. God okay. damn. damn. That's the evil twin. It's like, no. I wouldn't do that. Like, when I was younger, yeah, I was faking it just to make her feel good. But now, I'm going to just keep it real. Like, you know, I didn't nut. I didn't squirt. Like, you did a bad you Oh, y'all squirters? <laughs> Both of them? <laughs> <laughs> God damn, we, we gotta get them a sponsorship by Squirt. It's given, it's given like when you get in the shower and you got the heads on both sides and you turn, okay. So, sharing is caring. Y'all share the womb. I'm sure y'all share some food. Y'all might have even shared a car. Y'all live together now. Y'all sharing a living space. Are we sharing the D? Never, not one time. Never. It ain't not one nigga Never, on this ever, earth. Ever. Nobody, nothing can make it happen. Maybe trying, but payments. What's the most they've offered? Come on, twenty k. And I'm just no. The thirty k, forty k, a hundred k. There's no amount of money that will let you consider sharing a million a dollars. And I'm not saying sharing. Ain't nobody like, trying to hear that bullshit. <laughs> I'm not saying sharing a man as in a relationship. I'm just saying sharing a D. A like, million dollars. No. Okay. No, don't take us. No. Yeah, come on now. She said she'll think about that. Talk yeah. to your sister. And where can the people find you guys? Um, everywhere. Oh Social damn. Eight oh eight up. She said, said Google me, baby. And, and our Instagram is Topia Twins with a Z and two A. And my personal Instagram is Maybe M A I B A with two Y's. And our twin page is Topia Twins with two A at the end and a Z at the end. Let's give it up for the Topia Twins. It's giving Jack's multiple orgasm having beauties of the week. Come on now. So where you at with the, what, what they call this New Atlanta right here at Scott ATL? What, what's your feelings on New Atlanta? Um, you know, I like I like the new energy in general. When and, and and just to keep it all the way real, like even the song that you know we we, we were talking about and just all that. I like I like the fact that people using their talent to be able to get a check. You know what I'm saying? And understand to be able to to be creative and uh, how to get people in conversation mode, okay. et cetera, okay. et cetera. Yeah, 100%. But I love the city, you know, um, kind of point to what you were talking about. I, I went to an event recently where there was kind of like this thing going on between the artists and yes, the DJ, the DJ. Yeah. yeah, you know, just talking about um, how, you know, the artists felt a certain way in terms of supporting the DJs for so long. That's right and having to continue to support, and the DJs felt the way kind of about like the artists not wanting to pay, mm. you know? And so I, I think that's like been a recent thing that's been going on. Yeah, that, that's a big thing here. Yeah. Really, really, really big thing here. Now you as an artist, uh, uh, you as an artist, yeah. now you, uh, on the come up, and, and Playboy, you can tag in on this too. Yeah. Like where, where, where were you uh, when it comes to dealing with DJs and the whole concept of, Pay to play and or or taking care of the DJ and whatnot. Okay, is it is it greed going on I think, right now? Is it too much pocket watching? I think it's entirely too much pocket watching. One of the things I hear a lot of DJs say, like, "Oh, once they got big, they don't ever come back." But a lot of the times, some people that get big like that, they wasn't even there from the get go. Uh, it be a lot of they A and R's or they or they managers or you know some of the dope boys who got money that's rocking with them. So you realistically, you don't even have no relationship with none of the the artists like that anyway. But it'd be the artists that actually be grinding, that be still underground, still hustling. For instance, like when we started doing this shit in like 2007, 2008, 2009, 
I used to go to three, four clubs a night, hang out with DJs, have build relationship with them. I got over a thousand DJs in my phone. And guess what? We end up breaking the record, hitting Billboard, all type of stuff. So, but nowadays, I feel like it's a lot of new out of town DJs that come. And it's the same thing that Erica kind of saying, like it's a lot of out of town folks that come in the city that mess it up. That's my opinion. I think it's a lot of these out of town DJs who don't know Scotty ATL track record, don't know my track record, don't know really who you are like that. And when we get in the building, they treat us like we got them just some random ass Joe Blow and had that disrespect where you shouldn't be doing that because if this was Geronimo or goddamn uh, A plus or one of the uh pretty boy tank, one of the OG hood niggas from Atlanta that's actually from the city that been DJing for so long, they would have never did that. But now you got some of these new DJs, they don't know who the hell you is. They just want that two hundred dollars. And then as soon as you give them two hundred dollars, cause you know, we're gonna be like, right, I'm gonna show love to the DJ. This is what Donald was talking about. I give you the little two hundred dollars. You wait till the end of the night to play the song. You only play half the song, and half the crowd is gone. So it's like that shit is disrespectful, especially somebody like Donald, who who a gold platinum selling artist, who got away, you know what I mean? Uh, verified on Instagram. It's not like some of these artists are up and coming artists. You know what I mean? It's like we already established, especially you know whatever pop in the city of Atlanta, it pops everywhere. Period. Yeah. So. Soon as your record with B.O.B. blew up, that shit was everywhere. You understand what I'm saying? So it's not like, but some of these Atlanta, some of these people, they looking at you like, oh, that just got ATL, E A T. But no, nigga, we worldwide with this shit now. So, and then I feel like the fact that we still will show love and then they don't show the love back were like, as far as like, well, not all of them, but it's like, a, I would probably say about 30% of the DJs. I don't have this problem with more than, uh, you know, 70% of the DJs when I go work my records, but about 30% of them, and the majority of the time, the out-of-town DJs who don't know the artists, don't know the culture, don't know the history, don't know niggas done created all these big-ass dances and all these ways and all this fashion trends and all this shit that everybody else is on, they don't even know who you are. So they treat you and talk to you like you're nobody. And they just want your money. Scotty, how do you feel about that? Well, my, um, my, yeah, my experience has been different in terms of, like, how I came up in the music game. For me, starting out early, I, I went to a lot of open mics. I started putting together my own open mics. I linked up with people like DJ Burnway. So when I started really catching the wave, like I, I was known though before all of music, you know what I'm saying, just in the city. But when I first started doing music, blogs was something that really helped me out. And so I saw the wave switch from blogs to like streams, you know, and playlisting. So I was able to take, you know, to kind of shift with the wave. So when I started getting into DJs, it was after the blogs for me. This is just me like seeing the game change up. When the DJs came, I was working a record called Ratchet. I had had a song called Cloud Nine before that. Mm -hmm. So TJs, DJs, was my manager at the time, TJ would tell me, it take nine months to break a song. So that always stuck in my mind. When I push a song, I just keep pushing the same record until people got it. So when I started doing Ratchet, it was a club record. I went out to the DJs at 10 o'clock before nobody was in the club, feel me? So when I was there, I was just building rapport with the DJs. I go there, I buy the DJ a drink. It's just me and the DJ in here. I'm just getting the record spin, just let him hear how it sound in the club, catching the feel. So when I come back at 12 o'clock, he feel more comfortable playing the song. And so I would get into like what the DJ wanted out of it. I think sometimes people get too much in like it's it's like entitlement a little bit, where it's still a business. You know what I'm saying? So like if I'm trying to get the, uh, the DJ's attention or whoever attention it is, I got to figure out a strategy that's going to get this person locked in. That's how I'm thinking. So I pull up early. I'm chopping it up. I might text my dog, yo, man, you, you, I'm going to shoot you a little 20 bucks for some lunch, man. Grab you something to eat today. So when I pull up, it's time. when it's time to spend, I got 20 people with me. It's time. I ain't even got to pay no money. Cause I've been working my move, pulling up when nobody's there. So that was my own strategy. You know, I did my own tours. I did my own shows and concerts. You know, I never really expected the DJ to like break my record, so to speak. 
I just really wanted to get the fans because I felt like if I got the fans, then the DJs was going to play my shit anyway. That's what makes sense to me, too. Yeah. Hey, oh, uh, now, Gigi, you got a real unique perspective from this, from coming into the club. Yeah. So you know the artist and the DJ because if the, uh, I'm going to let you talk about it. Well, I was at Magic City. That's where, um, you know, I'm, I've become popular from being at Magic City. Um, I've retired actually twice the time that I was there, but for some reason, the crown still fits, okay? Um, and being in a club, I was there from 2006 to 2011. That's a little BMF-y like It was right, right after BMF, but it was hella Jeezy. It was the beginning of the future and everything that came in between. I was there for the walk it out and all of those songs, the dance songs. I was there for that whole craze. And I would see the DJ, you know, work records. I would see how hard Nando, may he rest in peace, worked Jeezy records. I would see how hard Esco worked future records. And then on the flip side of that, I would be, I'm my brother's Trey Song. So I'm, I'm in the house. We literally lived in the house together where the studio was in the basement, Delonte Murphy, Troy Taylor, that whole thing, that whole movement. And so I would literally take us, hear them make the song, take the song myself to the DJ at Magic City, dance to it on stage, get the other girls to like it. And then by the time, you know, the record hit and everybody loved it, I was definitely a part of, you know, making that happen. So I saw that angle as well. And then the other flip side of that coin is being friends or being a dancer or being in that pile when this person coming in to work their song and they got 15,000 ones, you know that's going to be a movie. You know what I'm saying? So um, I just feel like these this day and age, it changed a little bit because of socials, because of the internet, because of streaming. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, that foundation of the DJ and the artist, that rapport, that, that relationship and that understanding that they have is always going to be a thing. That's always going to be a thing in music. It's not going to change. And that definitely is some ATL shit for sure. Absolutely. I, I feel like some of the things that you said, for instance, like when you said, like, you will bring the record, right? Trey ain't in there. You brought the record. I, 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 I can tell you but that. But nowadays, no, back in the day, everything was cool, right? Yeah. But nowadays, if that exact same situation happened, then they're going to be mad at Trey because he blew up or something. They're like, oh, Trey, but bro, you don't even know him. You know Gigi. Show love to Gigi. Gigi, show love to you. We're going to build together. And then eventually, you know, we're going to yeah. become as one. I feel like a lot of the times... They'll get mad at the middleman, and a lot of times the middleman be a lot of the promoters. Mm -hmm. Cause the promoters be on a lot of funny stuff too. Yep. They uh, be ruining yeah. the artist names and <clears throat> DJ names. I oh. think eighty percent of the problems come from promoters, for real, for real. But it be, and a lot of the promoters be managers. Have you ever noticed that before? A lot of club promoters are also music managers mm. as well. They can, right. oh, I can call such and such and get them for you. I help manage them. You don't even really manage them like that, but that's just what they say. Yeah. So I think that's where the majority of, if we cut the middleman out, which is the promoter, I think that we'd be able to build build that relationship back how it was during those time days because you see what Future did with his DJ. Yeah. True. You see map. Eskimo and got them uh, X-Ray to get the hell up out of there when yeah. Future got, got blew yeah. the fuck up. Yeah. It's like that was a different time era, but yeah. right now, that's why it's so bad. 2024, 2023, 2022, exactly. ain't shit like 2010. And I, I, and I hate that meeting went in the way that it did, too. I wish it would have been that more... That was divisive? You felt like that meeting was divisive? Yeah, I wish it would have been more unified, if that's a word. I just made it up if it's not. I wish it would have been more <laughs> unified. Like, no, 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 if no, you no, got... That's if, if that's an issue, if that's our issue in our city right now, the DJs and the artists, and everybody want to voice their opinion, why give somebody the mic to go this somebody that that's not gonna that's not gonna that's solve gonna anything be. resolve anything that's only gonna now y'all beefing now this nigga beefing so what did we did all this to put all everybody together to do what to go back to instagram and this one another it didn't it didn't help it didn't help nothing at all but mainly the people that dissing each other are djs though right if you see that it, a do. lot of djs I, this another dj the artist said what they had to that's say and made their point yeah, and now yeah, djs that's are pointing the finger though. at each yeah, other dj saying hey me is him he you said right, yeah, right, that's some real shit yeah, that's what i'm saying i just wanted i i wish it wouldn't be like none of that even with these djs going back and forth with each other it's crazy you know what I'm saying? It's we need to find another solution. Let's have a meeting about solution. Like what we gonna do? What can the artists do to make the DJ feel more comfortable to to spin your record? I I, I command my brother um Lil Donna because that's crazy. Look mm -hmm. how powerful Atlanta is. It's a one dude. He got on his 
use his platform to speak yeah. his opinion right. about so, something, and so, it went so. crazy. crazy. You got mm -hmm. people in goddamn Chicago talking about this, folks in Miami talking about this. Mm -hmm. This is how powerful Atlanta is. Mm -hmm. And he's right. from the east side, so it doesn't matter. This is Atlanta, period. He's yeah. speaking for Atlanta, not just one side of yeah. nothing like that. He's speaking for his artists and what he see going on, which is right to what you said. It's it's the time. Social media, even DJ want to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Want to be all in all the video. That's what we're going through, but I'm saying that <laughs> social media is a motherfucker, social man. Media it, is a gift and a curse. It, it's, it's something it's else. A double -edged sword. So I just wish they can go back and just redo it and just make some solutions. I wish I had like more like um involvement with this because I just want to bring unity to everybody. Yeah. Just peace. Even the, yeah. the young lady who named we not saying who made that song. I fuck with Shouty. I fuck yeah. with Me too. I fuck with Shouty. She hard. She hard. She, 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 she hard. hard. She hard. Hell, hell. Man. Ain't nobody fucking with her. And she, she, hard. and she don't care what she say. She even went that boosted. This Atlanta biz nigga. Like, I look. Oh shit. She she said that, but I'm right. just saying just how she not scared. Boosted my brother too. Hey, but no, I'm just you saying girl, you ain't got to be scared she, of a nigga. She she from Atlanta, man. <laughs> when you a boy, you got to be scared of a nigga. <laughs> He's so Atlanta, and I don't want to just make her feel her. bad no her. kind of way too. Cause but the east side still the east side though. And the west side yeah. gonna be the west side. But this is this this is how Atlanta is, right? It's like a family, right? You got your your mom and your dad, right? Your Side mom last family. name might be Johnson. Uh -huh. Your dad yep. last name might be Smith. But, but when you get married, all the kids' name is Smith. But that's like you telling your mom cousins, technically, we ain't family no more. Cause we we all family. family. Just because we family, got different last names. We, we still made the same. We all got them, That's got the right. came, came from I, the same grandma. I like that. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, I like that. That's I what it really that. is. I see what you just did, right? Uh, yeah, I see exactly. what you just did. I like that, brother. <laughs> That's like how that. That's how I always looked at it. That's yeah. real. Hey, uh, D That's DJ real. Samoa, huh? how you feel about what we just said? And As what did you take to break up? I just want to say something. I think it's really... The art, the artists gotta fuck with the DJs that fuck with them. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Cause like you said, it is a lot of clout chasing DJs that be trying to get on. But if you fuck with the DJs that fuck with you for free, Uber, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you a question. Okay. Now this is a good ass question. Cause when the, when you fought with the DJs, yeah. This my this is my understanding, and I, I get it. If you're an artist and you're trying to break a new record. You could be in this game 10 years, but when you got a new song, you got to fuck with the DJs again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what right? You did, though, what you do, though, you come, you present it, you absolutely think that shit hot. What you do? You pull up. Right. When you pull up on me, then I... What, but I see, most shit. most artists, I think, feel like, well, shit... That works. Well, nah, I think most... Like, let's just say, for instance, you had a big song, Right? And you you went out and you fought with the DJs three years straight. Now it's been ten years. I dropped a new song. Do I pose to go out and fought with the DJs again? Yeah, the blueprint. What got you on from the beginning? See that? See that? I think that's where a lot of the disconnect that it's too dangerous. Cause, too. Cause some see a lot a lot of, a lot of nigga think well damn I did that already. Right. Y'all can't just fuck with me like yeah. and spin my song now. But we gotta have it though. You gotta get it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of music. It's 2024. You got to get it to us. But what if you get an email? I mean, then we got it. How you know we playing unless you pull a bonus or we tag you in it? I so they do got... Time. But they do... But so that mean the artists do got to pull back up then. Yeah, yeah. you got to build that relationship. Like, yo, I see. But that's the disconnect. Y'all see what I'm saying, though? You see what I mean? That's tricky. That's tricky. You see what I mean? I'm going to pull up on a Wednesday or Thursday night. That I'm is, ain't it, though? It ain't clear. It ain't clear. Hey, yeah, because, because, nah. I'm, like, like we're going to keep this shit out of the way, G, for real, for real. Like, a lot of artists feel like when you go out in Atlanta, nigga, I'm risking my life. Yeah. I'm coming to the club. Ain't no, no, don't nobody care if I make it to the door. Don't nobody care if I make it back to my car. I came out, I'm about to risk my life to come out and spin the record one time. That's how niggas think. I ain't saying it's the truth, but... That's why you have mixers. DJ mixers and you put DJ together. Like, this is what I'm on, you know what I'm saying? You tell them what you got going on. They fucking with, they gonna play shit. And the artists... And the artists but they ain't gonna keep playing the mix, it. Mixers too? 
You gotta find they ain't gonna DJs keep playing that rock it. with you. Nah, like nah. Samo said, you find you you rock with the people that rock with you. I know a couple of DJs on hand. I pull up on them. They play my old shit from 2006. They play my new shit from today's date, and they'll play that shit for 15 minutes straight. Don't give a fuck what the club say. Yeah, but see, this what this what I'm trying to. I'm just clarifying from what I feel like. Come calm down in the Atlanta scenario. Niggas saying, yo, when you pulled up, they gonna play your shit for 15 minutes. But when you left that motherfucker, is they gonna play your shit for 15 Some minutes? Some of them do. Friends like DJ Webb. But Nick, but when Nick, play my music whenever I come and when I'm not there. But that's what that's no matter where if he that's at where Madden the or if he at, where that's he where the now, thing was was you know, at though. That's he gonna who fuck with you. Yeah, yeah. fucking with the. That's people That's what that niggas are saying you. though. Is basically like if I put the grind in for X amount of years, can you play this shit for me when I'm not there? If you see I drop a song, I'm not saying this ain't my necessary my word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel me? I, you know, I fuck with the DJ. I support DJs even sometimes when they ain't support me. Right. And yeah. I wasn't tripping. You know what I mean? I just get the game. But I understand what niggas trying to say. Like, shit, you been grinding X amount of years. Damn, I got to revamp this shit again every time I drop a song. I don't know what you been doing in that gap time. You got to... You know what I'm saying? It's like a relationship. But I feel like some of the relationships as artists yeah. that we do, it should already be solid and locked in that if I give you a record and it sounds like a good record, then just fuck with it. Right. Because That's when because in uh That's six, seven years ago, when you asked me to introduce you to Soldier Boy or or take you to Bootsy House or or, or, or come to your little sister's birthday dinner and surprise her and, 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 and take pictures with everybody, we See? did it. Yeah. See, we that ain't clear though, free. bro. That ain't clear. Cause I've see, niggas will feel like that before. Yo, but see, niggas will feel like as a DJ, man, you ain't take me on this or you ain't take me on the road. So you don't No, care. you ain't give me no plaque. Yeah, but you can only do so much, you know, as an artist. And, you know, again, coming from a different perspective, I seen some of my homeboys just hit have super mega songs. You know what I mean? And then got to think about what they currently got on, got going on in the moment, which a lot of times might be stress. You know, you just had a hit record. You trying to come with the next record, and you dealing with DJs feeling like you forgot about them. So I think that need to be clear, too. Like, shit, if you feel like a nigga forgot about you, just reach out. We all men. We all grown men. You feel a way about some shit, men, reach men out. Men women. It's a lot of female artists and DJs too. Shout out women to too. DJs. Shout out to the women. I ain't forgetting the women. So, so Scotty, Scotty okay. ATL. So, so what is the solution? What you think can it make this situation better? What you think? Your perspective on making the um situation better? Making I think, Atlanta great again. I think from a first of all, from a DJ to DJ perspective, I feel like we all grown. Mm -hmm. Man, some of the arguments and conversations that I see that go on. Like, nigga, 30, 40 years old. And I'm not clowning nobody, but I'm saying, like, man, we should all be about getting money. So whatever conflicts, nigga, you know what I'm saying, need to talk out, a conversation need to be had, do that, because it's beyond Atlanta. It's just smart for the money and smart for your mental health. Nobody don't want to be walking around with they, you know what I'm saying, looking over their shoulder and shit like that. Right, we all been right, through right. that, you know? Right. Yeah. So um, that's one side. From an artist to DJ perspective, I feel like it just need to be back to like a level playing field, you know. Um, understand this business on both sides. So if you a DJ and you still need got the sauce, understand like your responsibility as a DJ is to break good music. Mm -hmm. Now whatever come out of that, like any other job you work. You supposed to do your job good, and niggas see you do your job so good, they gonna put you on. That's how this shit work. You can't arm wrestle a nigga to put you on. Other side of that shit is, as an artist, yeah, my boy, your song hot. It's everybody got a hot song. So you need to figure out a way to get to the DJ besides trying to bum rush this nigga at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, when he in the middle of his set. Mm -hmm. That shit don't work. Right. Cause when you run your rap, you don't want the DJ trying to tell you what to say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you feel me? So don't do that. That ain't cool, nigga. Build a relationship outside of the set time so a nigga feel comfortable spinning your shit. And that's just, that's just how I gotta go. It's business. Stop being so emotional about the shit. Now that's, now that's the part that a lot of emotions, there's a lot of emotions going on. Yeah. Emotion is worse than, than cancer. Y'all know what time it is, baby. New Jack Thriller City, 
booty call. You know, when the ladies is taking you out and they have no intentions of getting you none and whatnot, that's what you call a booty call. And today, bringing our meal, we brought the homeboy right on back, Chef Torres, booty call, hosted by Gigi McGuire. Gigi, man, show me the money. It's your girl, Gigi McGuire, Miss Show Me The Money. And we have here for this booty call with Chef Therese, say this amazing dish that it smells so good. I just want to like wanna lick do? it. Which, oh, sh- okay. Well, let me tell you what it's called. Oh. Jerk chicken. Jerk. Egg rolls. Okay. <laughs> New and it's improved. the jerk chicken. For you. New and improved. So this is giving, to me, this is giving teas, right? So on this booty call, I am not, of course, going to give him any, but I'm going to tease him with a little foreplay, right? Um, the sauce looks very lickable. The 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 even though it's chopped in half, the egg roll itself is very much giving you know that shape that we all know. It you know it's egg. enough it's enough shaft on that egg roll. Not really, but you know if we line them up together, we can make it work. No, no. <laughs> the sauce and and the smell and everything is very um, let's say it's yeah it's very tantalizing. Now he ain't gonna hit it, but I'm gonna make him think that he' about to with this somewhere. one. And, and if it tastes as good as it looks, he might even actually get a jerk. You know? Well, you go know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just need to taste it. Yeah. I want this one. All right. Go on now. Chef Torres, what is that? What's in, what's in it? Like she said, you got some nice lickable sauces in there. You got some delectable, juicy jerk chicken, sauteed onions, sauteed bell peppers, and all the right cheeses to bring all the smokiness and flavor together. All right, that's what's up, man. It's hey, yo, the flavors I, for me. I'm turning, I'm turned on and turned off at the same time, Chef Torres. <laughs> Don't do that no more, man. All right. Uh, man. Now listen, if y'all know, like I know, and y'all can see how much I'm enjoying this, y'all gonna want to get on this man's top ASAP. Okay, so let the people know where they can find you. <laughs> Hop right on it. On Instagram, by all means, oh. at Chef Torres, T E R E S, not with a Z. Chef sure is. You're going to catch a charge. This is Foodie Call. We'll see you next time with Gigi McGuire. Hey, Gigi, like, how, if an artist trying to know what I'm saying, you know, I'm talking about a, a, a brand new artist. You never heard of him in your life. And he's, he he uh, wants you to break his uh, his song in Magic City and whatnot. How should he come at uh, said dancer to get it popping? How does that work inside the, uh, 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 the strip club? Bag first. Bag first. Bag first. Bag first. Off of the bag. Mm-hmm. And if it's somebody who is influential like I am and was, then they gonna fall, they gonna fall into it. Like I am the prototype when it comes to the stage. Like all you go in Magic City right now and the pole tricks that them girls was doing, nine times out of ten, I made that shit up. Point blank period. I am the first person in Magic City to ever have a feature. Stage set. When they shut the stage down at twelve and two, and 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 uh, and Mercedes go on stage, I did that in two thousand seven. Okay, so when I was doing that, if I say I want to goddamn dance to Billie Jean, and that's what's popping right now, then guess what? The next bitch gonna come on stage, and she gonna be like, "Play Billie Jean for me too." So if you got a song and you want me to break your song, and you come in with the bag for one. We're going to put a little bag in, a little in the purse. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make sure I got what I need tucked. And then we're going to throw the rest because we're going to show it and show out. Because that's what you do. You bring attention to your song by throwing money. And the girls see, oh, they threw money on this song. So let me dance to that song too. And then that just was the formula. So, And I'm pretty sure that's still the way it go today. Like, that ain't changed. Has it? The strippers you, don't change. The strippers yeah. have changed. The strippers don't change. The strippers have quick. changed. I and quick. I talk about that all the time. Because what, what happened is, besides social media being, making the, the, the allure, taking the allure away, like social media made it to where as though you're going to see ass and titties and ass shaking and all the everything mm-hmm. else. You're going to see everything but the clip on down your timeline any fucking way. So why are you going to leave your house to go to the club and pay, spend money to to see that unless you just going for the vibe, right? The second thing about that is these girls ain't sexy no more. In my day, we gave fantasy. We gave va va voom. We gave make your dick hard and you and you gonna spend all your money because you're trying to see if, if you can get my pussy. You know what I'm saying? These girls is on stage rapping and shooting guns and being gangsters. Niggas don't <laughs> want that. 
That's wow. true. The men, that don't want so that. true. the men don't want you as hard as them. They I want just, you soft. I just said, I said, women gonna they be harder than men in five years. They want you years. sweet and soft. They want you sexy. They want the fantasy. They want to believe that this hot bitch that they probably could not never talk to if they seen her uh, standing outside the toast, they probably couldn't get her, but they can get her right now because they're in a place where that's where it's gonna happen. And this girl is giving them all of the feels that they need that they gonna spend their money on her. These girls these days, I I, I fuck around go to Magic City tonight. I stay in the, I stay in that motherfucker, and I see it with my own two eyes. These girls are not giving sex and not. Sexual they, intercourse, they but they're not giving that too. sexual fantasy that... Mm -hmm. That's what I... When I first started dancing, honestly, it was... What year were you in, 24? I started dancing 24 years ago. I started dancing January 2000. And the first thing that I learned... I was in a club that was like Cheetah. And the first thing that I learned is you have to sell the sexual fantasy. And that's what's going to get you the money. That that's what's going to get you in the champagne room. That's what's going to get you regular customers. That's what's going to get you the, the nigga to spend his goddamn mortgage payment on you. The, because he's, you got to tease. These mm -hmm. girls ain't teasing. It, yeah, it's different because they, they, don't fighting sing, and shooting. they don't sing a couple strippers become rappers. Yeah. That too. Oh. Yeah. That too. Oh, I, I, I that feel too. you on that. That too. You know and there's so many of them who have oh, those dreams after they I would probably be Damn. the same Damn. way. Yeah. Damn. You know what I'm right. saying? Damn. She just fucked me up with that one. But listen. Yeah. That's the truth. Listen. Yeah, you right. I didn't more, even see you. are right, right. More. I mean, more, I just seen more. a stripper and, uh, uh, dancing on stage with a chain bigger than mine. Yeah. And I'm like, why well, I'm stage? throwing you my money. And APs why? and all types of shit. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. right. I, I mean, I AP if on. I was dancing right now, I would still dance in my little date just. You know what I'm saying? I would, yeah, I would, you, I would wear my you little tennis chain. Era. But this, this new era. But I don't know about, girl, I don't know don't about naked in the AP. Girl, he'll get this bag and she a rapper now. And she yeah. in a bigger bag, but she started off in a strip club. Yeah. She, I'd probably be on there. <laughs> you in the <laughs> this I'm about to be the same way shooting on everything. But listen, <laughs> just like those memes that's going around that's saying, you know, we need more electricians, less rappers. That applies to these women too. We need more sex appeal and less gangbangers. Yeah, because these women getting harder in the strip and club. Harder, yeah. In I mean, the strip club, I love it sexy. because it's, it's it's me. I mean, they they the young me, so I get it. But then I get the the men too, because even I think I listened to Twenty One. Um, whole album, which is dope as hell. Shout out to 21. His whole album is Peace dope. Up. And I heard him say on one hit verse, he said, um, I don't want you being hard. I don't need no homeboy. Right. He said, I need you being soft. Yes, be my you baby. You a woman, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's yeah. like, but cause these women are getting hard though. These yeah. women hard as hell. Yeah, like, they hard I know hard. I'm gangster, yeah. but this new yeah. generation yeah. of women, yeah. these bitches are real gangster. I was shit. I seen a girl come by my car, I just thought, he and my, my button, you know, <laughs> shit. <laughs> but how she was talking, I like, oh, that bitch a killer. You know what I'm saying? So I like, nah. I think it all like, back I get to it, uh, social media because social media is so unfiltered. We see so much crazy shit on social media that we're used to seeing blood. We're used to seeing somebody getting shot. We're used to seeing somebody getting stabbed. Um, for instance, like I said, gangster, uh, for instance, Mayweather daughter stabbed young boy's other baby mama while she was pregnant. But I don't think she's just gangster. I just think that she's young and she grew up in the social media and world and seen goddamn, you know, uh, emotions. war in Israel and you how we see little kids walking down these streets, beat up, bleeding, whatever. Like they used to seeing this stuff on the internet, so it's like it's easy to them. The it first is. time we seen somebody leaking is you know doing like a big fight or a war wound or some shit like that in the hood. But now you know and that was rare. But now, like we said, it's you see so it on common. your phone whenever you scrolling yeah. through your phone. Real, real. That shit pop up on your timeline yeah. all the time. All Instagram yeah. gonna do is have the little eye on it and say, "Are you sure you want to see it?" You click it, it. You see all this blood and everything else. Well, that's now, what that means. They think, okay. yeah. Now they think that they can do it, yeah, or they ain't more. scared of it, or they, they, just, or, or they reading the emotion. comments and they seeing what people is is liking. Mm. Oh, this bitch crazy. So they like, imitating that. Yeah, and they imitate it, and that's that's what's messing everything up. Uh, Instagram got me so crazy. I can be so sad. I just seen something might be like the the war stuff, and they showing yeah. it to children and stuff. I can be so sad about that, man. I keep scrolling, then I might see Monique talking about some shit. I be like, what well, damn? What she talking about? You know, my emotions don't change. Like it's like folk just like this now. Like then you my scroll emotions, more, yeah. then you see a rapper get yeah, killed in I'm, the middle of a yeah, Waffle yeah. House or some I crazy see, ass shit. Um, Drake Dick. I'm like. And Whoa! Damn! Whoa! I now, ain't see it. I yeah, ain't see it. yeah. I, I seen it. 
Yeah. Oh my god. I wanted to see it. I ain't want to see it. I'll show it to you. Yeah, yeah. A little churro. A little churro. Was he fucking it the chick? Churro. Yeah. It's, is he no, fucking he somebody? Laying, he laying on the bed like this with it. Yeah. Like it, he doing like this with it. Yeah. It's like doing like this with it. And yeah. I don't even like light skin. Yeah. That's how I he know. He got his being. phone like this. But was he, he fucking bed. somebody? No, no. Boy, he just wanted to show. I think he got the DDL. He got his legs open. That's the only thing I ain't like about it. Like, why you got your legs? Oh, wait, wait, like wait. Why you can't have your legs open? It's just the way he. I would demonstrate if I ain't had his dress on, but it's the way he got his legs open for me. Man, it's just skin, GG. Show us what you doing. <laughs> 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 you know I know about a Playboy. No. You know I know better. <laughs> so and I think Jack's so persistent. persistent. He might catch me slipping one time, but not not this time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, uh, Scotty, you feel like the women are uh, way harder than they used to be? This video. Hey, wow. yeah, man. You know what? Um, so, like. Wow. I used to be in a relationship for a long time, and so, uh, so look, I started dating, you know, after that, and um, I got a chance to see like what it was a lot, what it was like on the dating scene, you know what I'm saying? Some wet, wet up, okay. So, women can be very hard sometimes, and when I say hard, I don't mean I don't mean gangster, you know what I'm saying? I mean like boss. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Now, is that attractive? Now, we're going to speak like on this, because this is this is a topic right here. Yeah. Come on, Scott. Ooh, ooh. My boy had to put it oh, okay. See, Come I got to put it down. OK. Come Come pull, pull me a little more. Pull me a little more. Come on, sis. Damn. OK, look. All right, so ladies, we like boss. All right, we love we love you to be able to do something. I can't stand the airhead. We're going to put that out there. All right. Now, on, thank, you, thank you so much. Thank you. Now, on the opposite side of being the airhead, you could be too, we're going to use the word masculine for, for lack of better words. You know, you could be too masculine or boss where it turned a man off. Almost as if like everything I know how to do, you know how to do. Or every time I say something, you know about it or you already did it. Or, you know, that type shit. Now, that's a turn on to me. Because I'm really around because... Look, I'm trying to be your hero. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to okay. open the door. Here you come, you open the door before me. Every time I talk about shit, you already, God damn, I can't introduce you to nothing. Mm -hmm. Who is you? Who is you? Yeah, we don't like that. <laughs> Who is you? We don't like that. We don't like that, we don't like that. We don't like that baby girl. We want you to be soft, yeah. chill, relax. Let me lead the conversation. You ain't always got to have something to say all the time. Shut the fuck. Please. <laughs> Please. I wish all the women in the world could hear this. Please, Shut the fuck. Please. Oh. God. <laughs> but we love y'all. Yeah, keep, yeah. We love y'all and we, you know what? And then when you get to doing too much, we ain't going to shut you down because we, we love y'all too much that we're going to let you keep doing it. And then that might be the last time we're going to hit you back. Ooh, mm. <laughs> then you gonna get on social media and say, oh, I can't stand these niggas. Woo, woo, woo. Nah, we can't stand you. Did Hello? Lisa, bitch. I'm sorry, y'all. No, no, you, no, that, you, have a, you have a very valid point. That's, 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 okay. That's, you have I've been a very valid point. Every, I mean, I be around a lot of men, like, every day on the road I'm with men. So I hear it all the time. And I see, I see it with the women. The women different. These women, maybe because I'm, I'm just really not getting this this part of the industry mm. that I see, like, women and how aggressive they is. I mean, they Man, aggressive. That's like, the word. They aggressive. Too much. Yeah, I mean, like, even to get in the green room with a nigga. Yeah. That shit is weird to me. Man. I'm a lady. You know, I'm kind of sick, kind of old school. I'm hard, too, now. I got a mouth for me. It's horrible, and it's terrible. I'm going to go to therapy about it. Okay. Because I'm, because I've been around that with niggas. Yeah. I've been around that with niggas, words, and I can say... If I say, oh, fuck ass nigga, that shit sounds so bad, don't it? Yeah, that was a little hard. That it was is bad. Bad. <laughs> a little hard, a little hard. That was a little hard. You see what I'm saying? Like, oh, bitch, like hoe ass nigga. You see how I say it? <laughs> yeah. You know, you might. Well, like that, though. I like what you said but when you, you said it like that. I did oh, like what you, you said. You know what I'm oh. saying? See, but you, he I'm might mess with a sweet girl, and she's like, oh, you such a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, not that. You right. See, not a bitch. It's a difference. Who you just talking about? Who? We want her. 
Yeah, I do. I What's do want to fuck her. Come on, hold the other. That girl you just told oh, me about. Oh, hold on. Oh, you. Nah, nah, nah. No, no, no. You want to fuck her. You want to fuck her. You're that such a bitch. Right yeah, <laughs> I don't want none of that. I don't want none of that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want none of that. Oh, you want, you like the one that be like, oh, you're such a bitch. Yeah, we like her. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, you see what I'm like saying? Yeah. It's a difference. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that, that was never be me. Like, mm -hmm. and it all depends on just your surrounding, what you've been on. I've been around niggas and gangsters and pimps all my life. Right. So my mouth is a little different. That's why I, even this black women period, our upbringing is different from a woman that's Mexican and a white woman or something like that. That's why I hear a lot of men say they, they mess with the white woman or, or run to that because of their submissiveness. They, you know what I'm saying? They... No, they level of submissive. Right. You know what I'm saying? They know how to shut the fuck up and may see you doing some foul shit and they know how to hold it in. We ain't even, we ain't even going. Mm. We ain't going. We know too. We, we finna speak on it right there and that like shot a nigga. We're going with that cap ass shit. Ooh. I just seen it. See, a nigga don't like that. We don't like it. When you, you even start like bringing it up, I got flatbacks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man. But the thing is... <laughs> It just, see, women, it's your upbringing. So it all depends on what a man can take and what they can't take. Show and a lot nah, of, uh, uh, no, 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 yes, no, no, no. Hang on, let's uh, fly. <laughs> get it, hey, get it, look. Nah, 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 I'm not, man, I'm, I'm not, I'm not. Fuck that. Nah, get hell no. Get in there. Hell no. Get in there, my about your upbringing. Because get what? When I come around with that cap ass shit, you ain't going to sell that. You're going to say that. You get the cap ass shit out of here. You ain't going to allow me to say, but my upbringing, my dad used to be cap. You're going to say, nah, nigga, you need to change that shit or get the fuck out. <laughs> right? No, I'm, no, I get what you're saying. And of course we're going to say that. But I'm just saying, it's the woman, <laughs> the women that you may deal with, what's their upbringing, what she been around. Has she been yeah. a woman that been taking care of her own, holding down, raising her kids on her own? Has she been this woman that been around nothing but niggas and Gangsters all her life. If she did, you know what I'm saying? It's all depends right, on no, her upbringing. Right, right. So it's it gonna take a different type of guy to teach. I hate to say teacher, but sometimes she just need to know, hey, 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 that's not how you talk to a man. So and if that's what she grew up around and that's what she uh been around all her life, why she don't date somebody like that that uh, is used to that shit <laughs> instead of coming to a young fly nigga do who don't want to hear that shit. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. This, mm -mm. Like, I ain't no gangster. I ain't slapping bitches and shooting niggas. <laughs> <laughs> don't I ain't do doing that. all that. I don't, no. I don't want no raw, raw no. gangster bitch. I don't, I don't want Please to. don't do that. I don't want to do it either. Mm -mm. <laughs> don't go around no nigga like you. I don't know. Please, ladies, if you out there, you hearing this, don't go around another man like you if you aggressive car. Why? You're gonna be in jail. Cause two yeah. fights. But don't bring it on me. And now so I'm goddamn getting beat up and right. abused and got dreadlocks on the ground. No, gonna, I don't want that. But see, the yeah. aggressive ladies, I'm gonna tell y'all some shit. The aggressive ones, they gonna always pick the guys that they wanna just, they gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? So I think what you said is key. A guy gonna always wanna teach a lady something. Mm -hmm. Now she got to be willing to learn some shit. It's true. And a nigga got nigga got to have time for this shit. Cause a lot, a lot of nigga ain't got time. I'm just keep it real. Nigga be on the move. Ladies too. Yeah. But nigga be on the move now. When when the guy feel like a woman is worth it, he might pull you to the side and say, "Hey, look for real, like you can't talk to me like that." Now you got about three times, maybe five to do that. <laughs> And then he gonna go on about some maybe, five. Yeah. maybe five, maybe five, depending yeah. on how much he like you. Okay, yeah. that's what I mean. It just it, uh, hey man, it's it's hard. I mean, I just I have I be I be around nothing but men. I be around women, so I get it. Yeah, I get it. I don't fault no. I ain't gonna say I just fault no woman. I just I look at certain people like even with me myself. When you just don't know, but when you get a man, be like, hey, shout it, hey, I know you've been doing all this. Hard man and shit all your life, but hey, you fucking with a man now. Okay. Chill the fuck out. Sit down. Yeah. And that shit turned me on. Oh, sit down. Yeah. Okay. Ho, sit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, like that, that type yeah. shit, you know. Yeah. So that turned me on, you know. And it, you know, you wanna be, you wanna be soft and shit like that, but you just gotta find that woman that willing to learn and wanna be that way with you and not thinking, she let a man control her or shit like that. Nah, control me. Like, teach me because niggas so tired of being hard and shit. Like, I want my soft girl era. Yeah. You know, but if you, you know what I'm saying? It's just that I we don't feel know. You, though. That's some real shit, though. Yeah. A lot of women feel like that, what you talking about right now. And, you know, they won't be vulnerable enough to say that. You know, people been through shit in life 
And then they just close their heart. They won't open up to nobody else. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times that be the issue too. You know, so fellas, when they do open up to you, you know what I'm saying? Like respect that shit and, and don't shut her down. You know what I'm saying? Like try to coach some, try to teach some, you know what I mean? No, I'm with you on that, my boy. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely with you on that. Yo, yo, you know what time it is. That's right. Jack Beauty of the Week, man. Hosted by Gigi Maguire. Show me the honeys. That's right. Who's coming with me? Gigi, let's get it. It's your girl, Gigi Maguire, Miss Show Me The Money. And we are here with this Jack Beauty of the Week. Honey, what's your name? Svetlana Saleh. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Say that again. Svetlana. Svetlana? I, I thought it was in French. <laughs> it's, no. some, it's some kind of language you're having to hear. It's Russian. I am not Russian. My you don't look Russian. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> but you have a Russian name. Girl, my parents was watching the Russian Olympics. Oh, wow. True. That's okay. but interesting. My dad is Saudi Arabian and Eritrean. And my mom's Nicaraguan. Okay. It's giving international. It's giving United Nations. <laughs> it's giving passport boys. <laughs> it's giving hella flags and I'm here for it. No red ones. Okay. Period. All right. <laughs> so um, how old are you? I'm 24. 24. And what might be your zodiac sign? I'm a Leo. Come on, Leo. Leo gang. Okay. 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 I'm actually a Gemini. Oh, okay. Mm, but okay, it's okay. It's okay. I'm going to go ahead and give you the pass. because I'm a May Gemini. We do good ones. <laughs> okay. Anyway, and what's your hometown? Miss Jacksonville. United Nations. <laughs> Jacksonville, Florida. Duval. Duval. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Murder laugh. Okay, we're going to get a little bit spicy for you, girl. You okay, ready? Okay, I'm ready, girl. Okay. <laughs> So, what is your sexual interest? Are you straight? I'm straight, yeah. Gay, curious. No, I'm straight as fuck. Straight AF. Yeah. Straight as like fuck. six o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And what are your thoughts on a 50 50 relationship? Are you splitting the rent and the bills with Bay? Mm, honestly, I've all, I moved out when I was 16, so I've always been super like independent. <laughs> honestly, I don't give a fuck because a nigga's not ever going to be able to take nothing from me. So, I like to be able to say that I can secure my own house. Like, a nigga can't feel like he could kick me out or can feel like he could take something from me. So, yeah, the like, answer is no. I mean, I'm not tripping. It is what it is. I'm not like, I don't really have, I guess, an opinion on that because like I said, I've always provided for myself and I've always been able to. So okay. it's like, if a nigga got it and he wants to share it, that's cool. But no, I, I don't. I myself. I got don't. It. Pay your bills, girl. Pay your own bills. <laughs> I don't want to do it. And um, but don't get it twisted. I'm not fucking with no bum ass nigga. Damn. I'm I just not requiring. I don't listen. I mean, I don't know. See, because that's, that's a loaded question. No scrubs. <laughs> right. Okay. Um... What, how often would you fake an orgasm or do you fake orgasms? Mm -mm, mm -mm, we're mm -mm, not faking it? No, we're not doing that. Have mm -mm. you ever faked it? Girl, maybe like with my first boyfriend because I felt bad. I think he just didn't know what he Aww. was doing. And I think it was like really just kind of to make sure that he didn't, like with his ego. I don't okay. try to fuck up his ego, you know, but I was, I was young. And I don't do that no more because if you just don't got it, you just don't got it. So at the end, when he say, "Baby, how many times did you come?" You're saying I'm zero. A, I'm just gonna I act like not. I've been asleep the whole time. He, he, I might not even respond. <laughs> I already fell asleep. That's illegal. <laughs> okay. And where can the people find you, honey? Um, Unana Tattoo, O O U U N A N A Tattoo on Instagram. That's Lana. I'm a tattoo artist. And right now, I'm actually doing, um, I'm competing to be on Ink Magazine. So I got a little special going on on my page. Come get a little come tattoo. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I'm coming, girl. Vote for me. Y'all vote for me. You can come get a little $25 tattoo. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's Jack's <laughs> Beauty of the Week. <laughs> about these grills my man so how oh, you make man. the transition into you know what i'm saying a whole nother field and you done turned into the new eddie gold out there big come on you done man. turned into the new paul wall of of of, 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 of the south yeah uh, uh what was it southeast we on southeast. the southeast yeah we, yeah, we on the southeast never man. eat shredded wheat. everybody know your name you, never it, eat you shredded cheer. wheat i never heard that damn in my life and then he did it like this you ain't never heard that <laughs> no what y'all used to say <laughs> North, Never. South, East, West. I don't know. That's how you used to learn when you was in elementary. Come on now. Never I eat shredded wheat. Wow, wow. that's a good. I acronym. love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's good. Five and four E is the better. Come on now. Oh, okay. Come on now. Like Mississippi. 
M I cricket letter. Oh, cricket letter. Okay, yeah. I like that. I never like lie. Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall. Come on, right. <laughs> what he do? Okay. What he do? He had, he had a great fall. Come, come on now, and, and nigga couldn't even fix the nigga back no more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's how the nigga moral of the story that. is. Yeah, <laughs> keep my nigga up on the wall. That's one. <laughs> keep my nigga up on the wall, man. On the wall, man. Don't push him. For real. But now about yeah. the grills though. I started out, um, I, I've just been doing music for a long time in Atlanta. I was on tours. So I've been on seven, actually now eight national tours. You sound like Cat William right now. Damn. <laughs> right, we got to talk about that next. Cause I got to say something about that. I got to say something about that. We're going to talk about that next, Cat William. But look. One more time. What do you think a plant is? <laughs> like, yeah, so. Man, basically one day I was at the studio and one of my homeboys said he wanted me to go check out this grill shop. And so I went by there, I checked it out. I thought it was cool, left and ran into my homeboys at the strip club, one of my partners. And um, we was actually at Follies. Rest in peace to Follies. Follies. Right. Oh, Long live Follies. Yeah. Long the prostitution live. was for the low over there, ah! $40. You not no 40, <laughs> not no 40. Don't do them that bad. I'm sorry. Man, too real. Hey, hey, about to get 200. <laughs> hey, so listen, so I ran to my boy. He was That's a dinner that assistant. Was and he lost his job. I asked him what he was going to do next. Look, it's still there. Fa la 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 la. La 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 la. So look, so look. So he said he just lost his job mm-hmm. and he wanted to make grill. Mm-hmm. I had just left the grill guy. Okay. I'm like, see, we can go up here right now. Okay. So we did. We went up there. At first, I was just going to handle the business. You know, I was going to let, since he was a dental assistant and the other guy was trying to get me in on his grill company, I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to bring y'all two together. I'm going to learn how to run the business. But as I got in, you know, as you run any business, you got to learn all parts of the business. You feel me? Because the nigga might cheat something. Still, you never know. So I learned everything. And you know, we made gold every day. We went and bought gold, we bought scrap gold. Uh, we was on Columbia Drive at the time. You was the nigga with the commercial about the gold? No, that wasn't me, <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. But um, man, turned out that, you know, I started going to radio stations and the shit blew up. Me and my partner didn't end up doing it anymore. Um, later on, I ended up getting my own grill shop. Killer Mike was one of the ones that actually gave me the head nod to do it. I was gonna get a smaller office. But I called Killer Mike, asked him what to do. He said, man, you should get a grill shot so it could be a staple in the city. Nice. And so I built my first, or well, I didn't, I didn't build it. It was already there. I got my first shop. Man, say you built that shit. I know, I wish you lied a little God, bit. What do you think I built my own shop. Is. I built okay. my own shop. Nigga, pop and your shit. I painted, I put the roof up. And uh, before you know it, man, people was at the door, man. It was a line of people around the building when the first day I opened up. Wow. And yep. um, I was on Candle Road Indicator. Yeah. And um, the shit blew up. I was working around the clock. Literally, I were all day, and then I would go to the club at night and push my song. I got about four hours of sleep a day. But I was doing good. I was working. I was getting that shit in. COVID hit, bam, and the shit went through the roof. I got a store in L.A. Issa Rae came and got a grill. Who? Mm-hmm. Issa Rae. Right. Bro, you sound insecure as fuck, bro. Ah. <laughs> See what you did? Uh, you saw what it did? <laughs> I saw what it yeah, did. Yeah. Issa Rae came and got a grill. Um, she posted it online, talking about the service that she got. It went viral. And then she wore another grill on the Grammys. I ended up on Steve Harvey. Um, and so fast forward now, we've collaborated with the Hawks, the Falcons, and we mm-hmm. just recently got a new location that we're opening up soon that'll be in the in the heart of Atlanta. Now you saying we? Oh. They, they, you, you you talk about partnership. You because a lot of people thinking that you're doing this by yourself. But no, it you, is. You it including is. folks. Well, not say we. Actually, it is right now. I have no partners. Hold on. So you was a bunch of people. Your no, team. no, oh, no, no. The team. Yeah, I'm talking about my team. I yeah. always say we because they put in so much work, man, mm. and so much effort. It's Ain't not. No, I and team. Yeah, it's no iron team. Uh, okay. You know, so I say we. Yeah. Mm. Yo. Yo, Scotty, uh, it is when you said, uh, Killer Mike said it would be a, a staple for the city, that was 100% true. Um, I got two cousins that live in Colorado, and um, I told them I was going to treat them to a grill, 
And they was like, can we go to Scotty Grills? I said, I said, yeah. That's dope. We can go. So I took him to Keller Road. I forgot your dog name, though, buddy, with the with the uh, dreads. Teasy. Teasy, yeah. He had hooked us up. I had got, uh, you know, I treated both of them. My little, my little uh, girl cousin and my older boy cousin. I think. Um, I think I remember that day, yeah. bro. Yeah, when y'all came I don't by there, you though. You I know that? I wasn't there, but I think he sent it to me. Yeah, or sent the videos when y'all picked yeah. it up. Yeah, yeah, yep. and uh, y'all had to ship them to Colorado or something because mm -hmm. that's where they live at. But they were so excited about going to it because everybody know about it, man. And I just want to give you your flowers and say, bro, it's definitely a staple for the city. That's and dope. everybody already know who you are, and. Uh, I'm proud that you yeah. put it in our city. Man, and goddamn, we Thank proud you, of you. Yes. My east side Thank brother. You, Thank you. East side. Thank you, man. My Thank east side brother, man. And they you gotta know make about me you, one. You gotta Appreciate make the stand up queen you. one. I am Atlanta. I am the comedy queen of Atlanta. So you gotta get You're not it. from Atlanta, you from the west side. Boy, that's Atlanta. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's I'm real Atlanta. Wish I got you for sure. I am I got you. So west side. Oh wow, stop playing. Boy, you and Gigi talking that queen shit today. Oh, I'm a big queen. Uh, I can't even play on, with it. What do you think a plant is? <laughs> okay, we got to talk about Cat William. Can we talk about Cat William for a second? Go for it. All right, Where you at with it? I got to let nigga know, because this shit going the wrong way. Oh, come on, Scott. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, shit. Cat Williams had a great interview. Okay. And I okay. fought with it. I watched okay. the whole thing, maybe okay. more than once. Uh -huh. But everybody can't be Cat Williams. Nope. Some of you niggas is going out here... Like calling people out to say in your same neighborhood. And you gonna get shot. <laughs> you gonna get killed. You gonna get shot. <laughs> Y'all need to stop. Hey, Playboy, did you, I say that shit? You told me the same shit. I to, uh, and man, me these niggas happen. crazy, man. You not yeah. Cat Williams? You not yeah. Cat Williams. Yeah. Please yeah. stop doing that shit. You do not know what the fuck Cat Williams is. Uh, he live, he don't live uh, next door to them niggas. Uh, that's right. He calling people out. He might not see them niggas all year. Never. You niggas is doing this shit with niggas. You gonna see him next week. You gonna right. get your yeah. cat. You gonna see right. that nigga tomorrow. Please right. stop. And, and cat on some Ooh. comedy shit, some yes. funny shit. Yeah. Like, he with got some an excuse. comedians. He got Please. an excuse. These niggas doing this shit with some like killers. Yeah. And you know they yeah. right. Can we put so our ass on this part? One hundred percent. You yes. know they got bodies. <laughs> Like, kills, chill out. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all niggas is tripping. That's crazy. You Kat niggas is tripping. That same you know, thing. Bro, you, know you can't Kat... just say anything about a nigga and get away with that shit. Right. You Everybody ain't tripping. gonna take that shit lightly. Nah. Yeah. Proof or not. <laughs> While we talking about the east side, and Kat, you know, Cat came to my room. I had a room up there at Joe's Bar and Grill. Oh, that's hard. On um, Gresham. Okay. He came to my room. Uh, I had a comedy night there. And, um, He came and showed love about everybody drank, and he stayed. That's on the hard. east side. Mm. That's wow. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. A real nigga. Yeah, yeah. 100 yeah. really is. Hey, dog, like... you heard uh, Don D.C. Curry was on the goddamn, what, what podcast he was just on? Oh, on his uh, He was on P.S. shit. And he oh. said, because you know he had that girl on that was talking about Cat. And um, that nigga Cat, when that nigga was in uh, Memphis, Tennessee, that nigga Cat then came to this nigga show, sat down, and just looked at that nigga. <laughs> and then goddamn got up and walked the fuck out with his crew. For real? Yep. Cat hey, dog, every, he, that, everybody ain't playing. playing with your ass. For real. Cat that nigga, man. When yeah. he, came in my, Damn. he came in my room, the, 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 I don't know, they, I don't want to say nobody clip wrong, but they from the east side, the PFD, P... Oh, uh, 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 PD? Huh? PD? It's something like that. I they think from that the is east side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They was, they were like in front of the door and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And um, they just made sure everybody was straight. They mm. didn't make, you know, kept, like, I don't even got to go get my gun. He said, I ain't never been no place like that in Atlanta like this before. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, you good over here, folk. Yeah. And, like, I really didn't know if you were good or not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ain't nobody going to care. But it was no but drama, good. though. Yeah. 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 It's sure no. Well, hey, dog, thank you for saying that. Yeah. Hey, dog, thank, thank, thanks for saying that. Because hey, I, be, I be telling folks all the time, because they be wondering why I don't do that shit no more. Yeah. Where, where I used to goddamn do this so disrespectful shit. Dog, niggas ain't playing. No. When you done no, had a nigga goddamn walk up on you in the club and shit and blah, blah, blah. Hey, man, what's all that bullshit you were talking about? And you, you done forgot you done said some shit on this shit. Right, right, exactly. You done forgot because you do it. You, it it's, not an error, it's not a game to everybody. So you goddamn, don't, don't, uh, what, what Jesus say? We're going to get you on, going to get you hurt. Oh. Right. What's gonna get you? I'm gonna get you. So do this shit very, very uh with discretion, y'all. Yeah, you know responsibly. Cause you gonna you might have to bag it up one day. Oh, and you might not be able to get away with. <laughs> Man, nigga, I was just playing.
Everybody ain't gonna just let you play like that on their name. Everybody ain't playing. Cause you fucking with their money. Right. Right. And you fucking with their 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 uh, brand. Or oh, their right. emotions. Yes. They Which feeling. is even worse. Yeah. And they yes. Feeling. Emotions. Or, That's even worse. It, right. it don't even have to be them. Someone coming to. Whoop yeah. your ass in the name of them. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. You which, know how people which a lot of times is the case. You ever that heard somebody say, in the name of Jesus? Yeah. 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 The nigga, it can be in the <laughs> name of Reggie. Hey, you spit some real face. Yeah. This shit funny, yeah. but it's real. 100%. <laughs> For real. This, this yeah. ass whooping was brought to you in part by <laughs> Bartholomew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So for um, real. new projects, uh, let's talk uh, 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 tours. What's next for Scott and ATL? No doubt, man. So um, I recently dropped a record called Major, yeah. featuring CeeLo Green and K-Camp. Mm, Damn, okay. man. Yeah. Ooh, Damn, I man, that's crazy. Yeah, it's hard. It's on hard. That's, yeah. that's just the people are hard. Yeah. That collabo is hard. Man, this some Damn. real player oh, shit. Suge Knight. Yeah. Real and, and got down Las Vegas after the Tyson fight. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah. Look, this some real player shit, you know. I'm really, this year I'm dropping music, and instead of trying to do all these big projects, I'm just going to give people this music. I been acting, man. What? What you on now? Man, so I did my first two movies. In the last two, two actually, I started in December. I did my first movie. It was a Christmas movie. It gonna come out this year. Mm. I was in a movie with Terry J. Vaughn. Oh, okay. La, La Vida. Yeah. Yeah, I was yeah. in a movie with her. She's a great person. She yes, is. man, she is so fucking fine. I was in my first movie with her. Hey, with <laughs> no, no, that's not Professor Sophie. <laughs> yeah. So, so I was in the movie I with see. her. Um, Griff was in the movie. Shot the Griff. Griff. Two K. Griff. Yep. Okay. And uh, that well, movie should come group? out this year. Yep. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. big group. Yep. And then um, I played in a short film recently that um, you you ain't know nobody in it, but you knew me, though. Well, hold on. No, actually, Treasure P. Treasure P yeah, was in the film. Got yes, you. Treasure P was in the film. We were in this yeah. club yeah. a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I just shot this movie, short film, um, this past weekend. Wow. That's my second movie. Yeah, how you knew I knew her? I, I don't know. You know all the big booty girls. Okay. I don't know if Trish got no boyfriend, but sorry if, you, if she do. Hey, man, I'm, got, I'm I, was, I was in the club pitching that she got on the boy. back like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But um, oh. so that's, I did two movies so far. And the day I shot my first skit, yeah. I was in the Country Wayne skit. Yeah, oh. yeah. Yeah, okay. so I'm popping a little bit. No, 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 hold on, a lot bit. No, Fuck that no, shit, nigga. No, oh, hold on, Scotty. No, hold on, I ain't gonna let you do that because wait, that's wait. not your first skit because you know you did the um security thing with Marco and Nell. Oh, with you us. right. Don't play. Yeah. Come on, that's man. right. Yeah, you were with us first. That's right. Now that's before my real acting days. I was yeah. just. Yes. Yeah. But she's right though. Yes, I, I know. was an actor before I was an actor. At, yeah. What do you think? Because guess what? When you got it, you got it. I'm with Nell. Shut up, with Nell. So I mean, to be honest. I've been feeling like Denzel Washington a lot lately. I wake up in the morning, <laughs> and when I think of myself, I'm like, right. I feel like Denzel. Right. Talk yeah. Shit. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So um, I've been doing that, and um, I've been being in my store. You know what I mean? We, I've been flying back and forth. We got still got a location in L.A. Yes, sir. So I've been flying out there doing grills. Okay. We did Megan the Stallion grill recently. No, you didn't. I, I seen the guard on my mama. I seen that. We God, did Megan yeah. the Stallion grill recently. We did Summer Walker Grill recently. God damn, bro. Um, it's my fifth year anniversary. You can cry. Congratulations, bro. Come on. Man, you know what? I almost cried earlier today. I was feeling so you good about cried. myself. Cried. I almost did. Sometimes I do, I just cry. cry. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Joy. Yeah. You gotta pray, God. Let God know you, you appreciate it. You know what? Don't I was shed thinking. Them tears. I was thinking to myself, I said, man, I really love myself. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. And then I was thinking, I said, man, you know, I started to make a video. This better than a video. Because mm. I really was going to make a video and mm. put it out to the world. But this better than that. Yeah, 100%. It's a lot of black men in the world that deal with just mm -hmm. problems in general. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of them. And I was thinking, you know, man, when you love yourself, it really just changed your whole perspective on life. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. Because niggas be waiting for, you waiting for an event. Yeah. Or you waiting on a moment, you waiting on something Talk to shit. happen. Talk Some type shit. of validation. And you think that when this thing happen, okay. life is going to change. Okay. Right. I'm talking to somebody in the room. See, Come we on. was on TV. Come on now. Now we in the room. Yeah. Come on. Look, yeah. things don't change. It, it don't happen because you network with somebody. Okay. Mm -mm. It don't happen because an event happened. Mm. All right. It might not happen. You know, it, it happens because you change your thoughts. Okay. Ooh, that's Ooh, that. Mental. Goddamn. 
Come on. Yeah. You change the way you were thinking. You got to plant them inside there. You got to plant them. You got to. And life got up. better. Yeah. Yeah. And so what I'm on for real, for real, I'm doing all this shit, but I'm just having fun. I'm enjoying my life. And I understand this shit in the terms of it's real life. I'm not oblivious to knowing my real partner's been killed in this shit. No. I'm living every day to the fullest. Okay. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. But I really do enjoy it, and I thank God just to even be here yes, for sir. real. So, yeah. 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 We can clap on that. Yeah, yeah. that's what we gonna do, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Do that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right, one. For real. I don't know if that's your tag already, but you need to make that your tag. What that? And your songs, what up, that yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need yeah. to do that. Yeah, I just gave mm -hmm. you a million dollars. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. That's your tag. Ain't nobody saying it. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then, and then, and then, yeah. Mm. Y'all. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that's I like that. Okay. That's yeah. that ATL yeah. too. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> you okay. 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 Yeah. Hey, bro, listen, this ain't the first time, you know, and it definitely ain't gonna be the last time you on New Jack Thriller City, man. Is there anything that you wanna tell the audience before we get up out of here, my day? Man, stay positive, man. And salute my dog Jack. I gotta give your flower too, yeah. cause see. Yes, yes. Let me speak on this shit. Yeah. Let me speak on this shit. Yes. Let me speak on, on this shit. Um, <laughs> you know, man, to to see what, cause see, I, I was there when we was in New York City. Dante Ross brought me through there. We was at the rooftop. We was on some different shit. Yes, at the pink, the uh, the yeah. pink uh, pink, uh, teacup. Yeah. Yeah, the, the waffle and the chicken place. And and this is fifty dot com. You know, a lot, people, a lot of people, a lot a lot of people go through changes and they get bitter. Yeah. And I watch you elevate, change situations, and you never got a cold heart. You always kept yourself solid. You always been a good heart. I don't know what you have to go on in your real life on a day-to-day -day basis. You know what I'm saying? But when I see you, man, you putting people on. You know what I mean? You're never selfish. And that, and that deserves respect in the hand clap. You from the east side, too. <laughs> yeah, he reached for you. For sure. <laughs> Shout out to Jack, man, for sure. Really? We in here. Don't cry. Don't cry. Come on, it's okay to shed a thug tear. <sighs> no camera. Okay. <laughs> Go on and let it out, man. You deserve that, Jack. I mean, thank you, man. I, I, I really appreciate that, Scotty. For sure. Uh, thank you, man. Hey, um, like I always say, you just can't say you're real or something. You got to be man, Scotty ATL. Yo, DJ Smart, let's take, out, take us out. Let's take some pictures. Where's the chicken? Yeah. yeah. Hey. I'm going to ride the pin real quick, y'all. Y'all watch the pin.